Hey, welcome back to the shop at Trick Tools. Uh, we're gonna give you guys a look at the LS 9400 drill press. Um, this is a pretty solid uh, drill press here. It's got a nice uh, heavy foundation, good solid uh, mass here. The uh, operation of this machine is pretty unique in the uh, aspect that it's variable speed. So uh, when you turn the machine on, it's got the uh, variable frequency drive over here that you can turn the machine up and uh, adjust it all the way down which gives you some unique capabilities uh, that include uh, being able to do some basic tapping uh, with the machine as well. So um, some of the initial features on the drill press are the uh, nice adjustable table you have here. Um, it's got T-slots in here, which are for half-inch uh, T-slot uh, tooling. Uh, so this table can be turned and adjusted. There's a handle under here loosen this up you can rotate uh, rotate the table around there's a clamp on the back side here that holds the whole arm for the table out that you can loosen up and there's a handle on the other side here that you can then uh, move the table up and down crank that there's a gear uh, with some teeth here that you can easily adjust that table up and down so um, you can adjust the machine into uh, low mid and high speed ranges so um, and that's aside from the variable frequency drive. So uh, if you have them, you have, in order to adjust the speed, you gotta have the machine on. So you flip the machine on, there's a handle back here on the motor and you can put a little bit of tension back on it and adjust the lever here. Right now it's in low speed. So you can move it to mid range and the belt automatically adjusts itself uh, inside of here. So you don't have to worry about changing uh, belt positions, any of that. And then you can also move it up to high speed range. Um, and again, it self adjusts. So, and then from there, when you adjust the frequency drive, it's going to give you a pretty broad range of RPM on the machine. Uh, it's going to cover all your different ranges for all the different sizes of drill bits you want to use and uh, makes it real easy to swap from high speed to low speed without having to have any major belt changes or uh, adjustments in that way. So uh, another unique part about the machine is the fact that you can easily switch it into reverse. So that's really gonna come in handy when you wanna do tapping. Uh, if you got the machine running, um, if you're doing tapping, you wanna be able to turn the machine down a lot so you can really crank this down uh, to a full stop, but you can turn it up just a little bit, get a little bit of a couple RPM out of this thing. And then if you're tapping into a piece of plate and you wanna stop and return the tap back out of the uh, material, you can flip it right in reverse and it will back itself out. So uh, we'll give you a demonstration on how that works uh, in a little bit. So a couple of the uh, accessories for this are couple of different uh, first we have the uh, adjustable vise here um, it's made to be held on you, there's a little clamping block in the back here that allows you to slide this uh, square stock material through it so you can actually move the vise around uh, as you're using it if you've got a plate in here you want to drill a couple of different holes uh, you can easily do that by rotating this around and uh, this will open to uh, 6.25 inches so you can easily slide that in, clamp smaller material. Gives you the ability to do uh, quick material changes in and out of the vise. So there's that. And then the next accessory would be this cross feed table, which is not designed for milling. Uh, it's just to be able to give you the precision adjustments you might need to uh, do some more precision drilling and tapping with the machine. So um, you got your crank handles on either side and are going to be able to adjust it uh, both directions, front and back, and uh, really opens up some of the possibilities of things you can do uh, for some precision drilling on this machine. So uh, they do have a uh, flat area here with T slots on the very bottom on the base. Uh, Say so you had you know, a big part that you wanted to throw in there, you had a couple of holes to drill, you can actually mount a vise down at the very bottom uh, or uh, other types of clamping mechanisms that you can use to hold your 
part in place and do some drilling on a on a large part so that's pretty nice you can bolt this to the table there's uh, little provisions here on the side of the base uh, where you can drill your concrete floor bolt it down and uh, yeah so as far as the main drilling function uh, you just have the lever here on the side that you can use to go up and down through your material it's quite a bit of travel here uh, and this drill press also has a uh, automatic feed so when you f push the lever out here it goes into the automatic down feed and it will automatically push itself down into your material so uh, you don't have to stand there and hold it the whole time you can just flip that over and then to uh, disengage it you just pop the lever back in and it goes back to manual mode so uh, it's a pretty nice feature if you want to be able to set something up uh, get it set where you need it put it on the down feed uh, you can just stand back and watch it and just make sure that it's going to be drilling with how you need it to so um, it stops pretty quickly uh, so you don't have a lot of uh, extra rotation when you're done uh, drilling into your material so um, yeah at this point we'll show you some of the operation and actually drill through some plate here and uh, we'll tap a hole as well show you guys how that function works uh, when it comes to the tapping on this machine it's 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 hundred percent manual so um, you know you have to actually push your tap down through the material uh, and it will use the tap to kind of you know guide it make sure you're going at the proper speed um, but it, it is a manual operation so it's not like tapping on a CNC uh, machine anything like that so um, it's really up to the user to determine uh, what material they can tap, how big, how small they can tap, uh, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, at this point, we'll drill through here. We've got an eighth inch bit in here. And the cool thing, like I said, with the speed adjustments is that, um, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of time adjusting the machine to go from small bits to larger bits. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. We're going to put it up into a high, higher speed. automatically kicks it up there um, on the controller here it goes all the way up to 120 Hertz and we have a speed chart uh, that we have on our website but basically this chart here is going to show you uh, based on the Hertz on the controller uh, and what uh, high low or medium you know range you have it set on on the machine where about your rpm is going to be uh, for drilling so um, yeah, you can set it anywhere you like, but there's a lot of adjustment in this machine, which really gives you the flexibility to uh, drill through a lot of different types of material with all different uh, sizes of drill bits. So, put a little bit of drilling oil on there. And just go through manually. And this is quarter inch mild steel plate. So we're going to step up to a quarter inch size now. Uh, one thing I wanted to cover was that the machine does not come with a chuck. And for the reason for that is, you know, you may have your own chuck already or you want to um, you know go with a specific chuck that you have in mind uh, and you know you can do that as well so you purchase the machine without the chuck uh, the chuck would be an added on option from there so uh, we're going to step up to this quarter inch hole um, we're just stepping up in size just to be able to show the function of the machine and uh, some of the adjustability of the speed so uh, we're going to go ahead and put a little more cutting fluid on here and then this one we're going to use the auto down feed so We'll switch the machine on, drop the speed a little bit, and then to do the auto down feed, bring it down close to your material, and then you can push the lever over, and it will automatically start its way uh, into the material. Now this through. 
pop the lever back in and it will return. Uh, so at this point, we're going to step up to a 5 16 drill bit because uh, that's the size we need to be able to tap the 3 8 hole. Get this bit in here. A little more cutting fluid. We'll also do the auto down feed on this one as well. Through the material, return it back. Uh, so now we're going to actually tap this hole. So in order to do that, take the 5 16 bit out. I'm going to chuck this uh, 3 8 16 tap. Into the machine. And for starters, we're going to turn the machine way down. Um, that way we can do a nice controlled uh, feed into the material. So right now the machine is on high speed. So turn it on. We're going to put some tension back here on the motor. Return the lever here to the high torque, low range setting. So you can see how much more it automatically slowed it down. And then we're going to adjust this on the drive way down. Yeah, we'll just pick something a little slow just to show how it works here. And uh, also tries to not push the tap through the material too quickly. So um, something you can do, let's say your vise is, is moved a little bit in between holes. Uh, let's say you have multiple holes that you've drilled and you want to, uh, from there, then tap a couple of different holes. You can slide this around. So to locate it, if you flip this in reverse, that way the tap is actually going the opposite direction and it won't do any cutting. You can line up the vise, bring the machine down and it will line up your hole. And then you can flip it back in the forward direction. We're gonna put some more cutting fluid on here. I'm gonna put some on the tap itself. And then basically you wanna keep a nice constant pressure down on the tap so it will automatically start cutting down through the material you want to make sure you've got plenty of lubrication on there keep that steady pressure and then once you know that you're all the way through your material. You can reverse the machine and just keep that pressure on the handle to make sure it's not trying to lift the whole vise or table and putting too much load on the tap. So keep that pressure down and it will, using the threads of the tap, it will automatically push itself back out of the material. and there's your tapped hole. So, so you can see how easy it is to uh, drill different size holes uh, as well as be able to tap those holes at the same time. So um, again, with the tapping feature on this machine, it's all a manual operation. So it's up to the user to be able to determine uh, the correct uh, use of the machine to be able to tap the holes that they want to tap. So uh, from there, uh, if you want more information on this uh, LS9400 drill press, visit our website at tricktools.com. Give us a call and we can answer any of your questions. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on high performance tools for the fabricator.